This is the Kohler. This is for the transmitted light. This is not for dark field. This is for the light, for when the light is coming in through the back, through this back housing. It goes in and it's mirrored up. It's for bright field microscopy. That's not for dark field. We can remove this. There's three screws. Just unscrew them slightly. And this okay, recording. Uh, 350 watt fiber optic illuminator. Putting the fiber optic cable into it. Okay, let's get a let's get a better view of this chip. Hold, hold take this out where we can really see it here. Okay, this is a dark fill condenser. It's an oil condenser. You can see we've already got some oil on the top. We've been using it, and then then it's got the adjustment. These are the centering knobs, and then below, uh, pull that pull that out. Actually, you tighten it in there. Okay. So we have a holder, and the fiber optic cable goes right into the holder. So that holder's actually got a screw. You can see the screw here. It's a little hard to see. It's got a screw. You can tighten it down. Can you hold the camera? I can't, I can't do this. So this is a screw. This is a locking screw. Take the fiber optic. You run it in, and you can you can lock that in. Where's your screwdriver at? I'm just it goes underneath. Okay, one thing one thing you got to make sure of is that your condenser. I can raise and lower the condenser. You got to make sure the condenser can actually reach the bottom of the slide. And if you, if it doesn't, if you've got to make an adjustment. Um, this one is a little bit short of the slide, so we've got to make an adjustment on the on the microscope. Here's here's another microscope just to show you. It's this screw. This screw is a travel lock stop screw. The best way to do it is to is to you can raise and lower the condenser knob. You've got to take a screwdriver in here. You can see, hopefully, the, the screw back in here. On this version, we've got to lower the screw a little bit. Here, here's a locking screw as well. You've got to unlock this screw, and you've got to lower it. Now, when we ship these to customers, we should, we should make this sure this is set. But in case you get one and it's not set low enough and you're not able to make the top of the condenser, these are centering knobs for the whole condenser. And these other are smaller centering knobs. You got multiple multiple adjustments. This one just locks it in place. And don't forget to put the little drop of oil on the top of the oil immersion condenser. We've already taken a live blood uh, specimen here, blood specimen. We've got just a little tiny, tiny drop of blood. Don't, don't put much blood. If you put too much blood, you won't get a good image. Just a small amount of blood, put oil on the top. We've got a 100x oil immersion objective. This is the iris diaphragm. I'm going to turn on the uh, 350 watt fiber optic source. get an image. Small drop of oil on the dark field condenser first. Once again, this is our 100x. This is our 50x. Both of them are oil. Both of them have both of them have an iris diaphragm for dark field. 
Now a drop of oil on the top of the cover slip. <coughs> Bring the Darkville condenser into contact with the bottom of the glass slide. There can be no air between the lens, the condenser lens, and the objective lens of the microscope. There can be no air between them. Everything, all gaps must be filled in by the immersion fluid. We're starting to get an image now. It's going to take some centering. Let's go over the camera setup. There's multiple camera setups. This is an RCA jack. It takes an NTSC composite video to the CCTV monitor. That's the big monitor. Then this is a USB connector into the laptop. So this is a dual camera with both analog NTSC composite video output and USB output digital. The southern line is the power cord for it. This shows we're using a 0.5x CCD adapter. We can do, we, we can try different things for this. We could also use, use a 1x C mount, for instance, putting all this together. This will also work, this type of a setup. And then this does not, this does not reduce the, uh, the magnification. If we use this, we're going to get twice the magnification, which, which may be uh, beneficial. It may be preferred over using this 0.5x reduction lens. This is the Trinox lever. This diverts the light to the camera. If you pull it out like I had, it's, it's diverting the light to the camera. If you push it in, then the images go into the eyepieces. 